Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new campaign of Hearts of Iron 4 in modern day. Uh, so, we were challenged by Sam Lamprich. I'm sorry for starting your name, but to play in modern day as fascist Germany and take back the land they had in World War II before the Allies invaded with Italy and Japan as allies. Um, why I chose the challenge was interesting. Like, it's gonna be quite interesting since if we think about it, Everyone around us are in NATO, including us, so we have to leave that. And we have to break ourselves out, we have to change political system, and we'll have to fight United States from the beginning. So we'll really have to go for a full-blown blitzkrieg to be able to survive this. We have to slowly, 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 slowly build up, and then you strike everyone around us. And a big problem I see is, well, we are not that much greater than anyone around us. We have a ton more manpower, but otherwise than that, we have barely more than anyone else. And since they would gang up against us, including Italy, <laughs> God damn it, we will just break them apart. So Italy will, <laughs> will actually not be our ally. NATO. Okay, Japan can be our <laughs> ally, but Italy won't. So they will just be the finishing blow, like, yay, you are now with us again, and we'll have to give back Libya and... Ethiopia to them. God damn it, Italy. Really, in all games you have to destroy for me. Or or just not do anything. Because you're Italy. Uh sorry. <laughs> so yeah, um let's see if we can do this. So let's hide that one and let's go. So conservative influence, of course, we are very much against. And we I think it said party popularity 65%. Uh or stability 65%. So we're not super far ahead for the next level. I think the next level is 80%. So stability, we need to raise that one. So we have economic focus. Uh, let's see, oh, a bunch of nice stuff. Yeah, cool. Um, stuff I can't say, and you will just slaughter. Oh, that was nice. Fund is then Polish workforce for Germany. All right, um, and here we have ideology focus. We have to go down with your focus. Emphasis justice, legacy of the Reich, empower the president, fury start, uh, racial laws. Uh, let's see, do I have to pick this one? All of all, yeah, move to Austrians and then Lebensraum. Ooh, an ex war goes against everyone. So basically, when we pick this one, war against everyone will be begin. Ooh, it would be nice to actually go authoritarian instead and just get that extra research slot and then just justify war. <sighs> Ooh, this would also be nice. <laughs> Go brush. Oh, no, no. The challenge was restored. Restore. Actually, what did it exactly say? Did it say anything? Uh, yeah, fascist Germany. Oh, we have to go down fascist path. Anyway, I think I will begin grabbing this one all the way down to empower the president. So just uh, uh, the fascist fascism is just going to start ticking up. So let's begin right here. National unity. Agile to focus. We're going to go... Let's see, what kind of resources do we have? Oh, very little except for, well, steel. Maybe we should, let's see, what laws do we begin with? We begin with consumer goods. Then uh, why not begin with a couple of refineries? If, we, if I double check like this, this is going to take me 95 days. If I begin with one synthetic, that's going to take 68 days. So it's actually advantageous to begin, begin with one well, synthetic refineries. Uh, let's build right there, let's build right there, and right there. Just fix that oil because we're gonna need the largest tank force you have ever seen. It's basically gonna be peace, 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 full up blow more with everyone around us. So uh, yeah, this will be a build up session, most definitely, and probably the next one too. Um, actually, I will let you guys decide about this. Am I allowed to take other territory like Switzerland? Am I allowed to just go in and kill out? Oh well, Austria it did. Like, our my core territory is like the goal of this. It doesn't really specify exactly that. It's just and take the land they had in World War Two before the Allies invaded. Oh, before the Allies invaded. Oh, so. Oh, right. But, oh, that's meant we should should own all of this. Oh, cool, cool. But Switzerland wasn't actually part of us, and the rest of the people are in NATO. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. You are not in NATO. And it was Italy owned it, but since Italy is in NATO... Okay, am I allowed to take the land that Italy owned? 
before they well, they can't actually join us right now. So um, de decide on that until the next episode. Cool. Um, otherwise, just I don't really know. Just do something with the army so far. Uh, let's see. Three military factories. You definitely need to be upgraded. Uh, let's see. I want only two factories. Actually, three factories, just in case. You can be five factories, and then let's begin with the main battle tank and mechanized. Because if oh, actually, this is way too much. Uh, let's drag that one down to three, and then let's do tower anti-tank one, and let's do multiple one. Thank you. Then we'll begin a battleship missile cruiser fleet, as usual. Let's see. Is that our entire navy? No, actually, quite a bit of a navy. Everything in Hanover, or something like that. And we just gotta gather that around, and I think we're done. Let's speed up and let's begin. Secret member council, alright, let's group that together. Let's find a leader. And let's just say that. Actually, what kind of navy are you? What kind of shit navy. So, never mind, we're not gonna deploy you right there. You're gonna create your own fleet right here. And you're gonna be, well, anti submarine fleet. You're gonna gather up right here, yeah, cool. So, let's see, what do we have? Actually, we can check the focus a tiny bit more. I didn't actually look at, so here we're, um, restructure the foreign ministry. Restore trust in the system, political expertise, alliances, European uh, politics. No, this is just befriend people, and that we can't do. Here, intercontinental politics, focus on Asia. Here, the old alliance, ally Japan. All oh, right, this one, we can go, actually, does Italy exist this way? Berlin Alliance. <laughs> Declaration of hostility. Oh, wait. It requires one of the following. Oh, we can go. We go down this way. Let's see. Befriend Italy. Oh, that's just opinion bonus, unfortunately. Can we somehow break them apart from that? Uh, the CDU don uh, donation crisis. Okay, minus conservative population, or plan, conservative population, po uh, popularity, not population, popularity. I'm not going to lose stability from for something like that. Uh, right here, army points, navy stuff, air force stuff, nothing super special right there. No, I think we're going to go down right here, empower the president first of all. Uh, actually... Oh yeah, that one needs a certain amount of support. So yeah, let's go down all the way right here. And then we're gonna pick probably some more industry stuff over here. And then we're gonna go probably down right here to try to ally, ally Japan. And but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's see, this can actually be quite a challenge. Nice day, nice day. Uh, let's see, Panzer Brigade. Oh. Light tanks, no, 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 no. We'll have to fix this. We'll have to really, really fix this. Basically, I'm planning to, well, do the greatest blitzkrieg that you have ever seen and ever will see. It will just be tanks everywhere. I'm so certain on it to be in tanks everywhere. I'm gonna do like this. Bye bye, entire army. The only thing we're gonna have is tanks, and it's gonna be everywhere. There, there. Up, down, zero, left, right, everywhere. Uh, let's see, the first one, we're gonna do a military theorist. Why I actually disbanded tanks, I do not know. I just felt like to show impact. <laughs> God damn it, I shouldn't have disbanded tanks. Now I have nothing to train. <laughs> actually, we should have trained with the bad divisions. Mm. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, you're the most useless ones. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's cancel you, and you are the only one I want. One division of Gribbs Brigade. Anyway, Russia goes to war, no surprise right there. Let's see. Alright, we're gonna continue now down here. Emphasize justice. Well, I don't know if not justice, but well. Alright, Path of the Order. I like how they have some they have merged in like the generic focus trees with the customized one. So there's a lot of repeating and well the same stats and stuff. I think which is it? Yeah. The, um well this path of order, it's the same thing from the generic one. They basically combined it and added a bit of flavor right well, right and left. Cool thing. Uh let's see oh right, Air Force. Um I'm gonna fix you too. Um is this 
Yeah, this is all the land we have. We don't have any small colonies, nothing left from anything really. So this is everything we have. God, we have to fix the borders. There's gonna be a lot of fighting. It's gonna be a super bloody war. It's gonna be super peaceful in the world until we completely break it later. Ugh. Let's see. You're gonna continue up right here. We can't switch this until, well, a very long time. But we should be able to switch all the way. Yeah, current party is fascist. So this is a good thing about this, at least. We become fascist and we can go war on before the war actually begins. Nice. Um, so if you could go there as quickly as possible, that'd be awesome. But right now I think we have a penalty. Yeah, here. German legacy. Germany has survived both vicious influence of fascist and communist. German people have become deeply connected with the ideals of liberty, democracy and unlikely to accept tyranny once again. Uh, we'll see about that. A bit of tyranny thing will probably happen again. Well, not because of me. It's not my fault. It's Sam's fault. Damn it, Sam. Why do you do this? So, um, this should now be looking better. How much are we exporting, really? Oh, we actually have free trade on. That's why you're trading away at. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to fix that too. Uh, let's see how quickly 25% world tension so that won't happen in a very long time uh, I think I might just then focus on getting even more oil uh, Oh crap, I was not supposed to put you at the top This would probably be the one thing I will have most use for actually You cost chromium right? Yes, you do I Don't have any chromium right here or anywhere close by me so it would be nice if I, if I could, well, support myself. So I can build, well, each of these give 5 plus, very good. So 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Yeah, this is actually kind of what I would like. Uh, let's fix these first. But otherwise... 95 chromium would be really really awesome to have It would almost help us Well, how much do you need for one each and every one? Yeah, that would help us for 10 20 A ton of factories and <laughs> don't do math on stream or on recordings or streams for that matter. Just don't do math Right here legacy to the right, please continue Nothing super interesting right now. All right, you are supposed to be deployed, assigned, and then you start training. Uh, you are training, right? Oh god, they actually have it based on something else and not actually based on. Or do you need to be? A oh, actually, you might. You need to be a certain. You need to be higher than recruit. Okay, cool. Some support right now. Israel forces retreat from southern Lebanon. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we are getting a daily change of 0 0.01. <laughs> Not a lot, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there very slowly. Uh, let's fix this. Let's fix that. And let's continue right here. Resource efficiency, 10%. We are definitely... We definitely want to pick that. Yes, let's wait a tiny bit. Uh, let's see. Artillery, no. Tanks, Air Force. Yeah, let's grab the next airplane too. And now you're trained. So, yeah, 0 0.65. So, having one unit, ton of experience, and I'm basically losing no equipment at all. Well, we have enough at least for everything. So, you're gonna be all alone right here and, well, train. Since I know how the folks are going in modern day, Germany is not gonna get attacked. Even if I am attacked by someone, well, right now we have the entire NATO with us. We're probably gonna get kicked out of it as soon as we turn fascist, but that's another issue. Let's see, modify government. No, no. Uh, export focus might be good to grab right now. No, let's just go grab the military, military theorist. We need more experience. More experience to modify all our tank divisions. We're gonna go a true blitzkrieg. Uh, let's do like this. Let's just rename this to Ghost Division, since, yeah, that is what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't wanna see you, I don't wanna see you, and... Um, Maybe. So let's keep you for now. I would like to switch these ones around just so the tank division are at the top of the list, but then I have to disband you and that feels 
very unnecessary. So, slowly getting more and more oil, very good. Are we getting any factories from trading? Actually, we're getting a lot of factories from trading, nice. That might actually, well, that's gonna boost our industry quite a bit. Let's see, world tension only 1% and we're not even close to become fascist, so this is gonna take a while, to say the least. Cool, and now empower the president. So let's see, what is our current drift? 0 0.02, and uh, let's see, fascist influence, we need to find it. Progressive, socialist, monarchist, reactionary, path of order, naturalist, and fascist. Only zero, actually, we're getting more naturalist influence than fascist influence. Would be nice if, well, to actually get to be, well, authoritarian instead, just be a naturalist. But, well, the challenge said, actually, guys, do you allow me to be naturalist rather than fascist? I know it's I'm um, following the comment, but I want that extra research slot. But I will I will go with what you say. The same thing with if I'm allowed to mm, technically invade all of these nations and grab their stuff. I will go with what you say. It makes it a bit harder for me, but I don't know. It might be able to get this campaign going a bit quicker if I just can take over some more land and bring people, well, build up my nation faster. Alright, you have this, we have this, that's far ahead of time. Um, should we grab these two now? I think so. We don't actually get uh, Doctrine right here and Doctrine right there. Let's begin with Doctrines very early, since why pick something that is ahead of time when we have Doctrines that are going to be really, really useful for us, and it's not ahead of time. No-brainer, really. Well, it should be no-brainer, but... Why I'm thinking on it is just embarrassing. Uh, let's see. I might have overdone it a tiny bit with the chromium stuff. Just a tiny bit. Uh, let's cancel. That's 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So, half of it. Or was it 95 we had? Maybe. Whatever. Let's go a tiny bit over then. So, actually how... 6.4 and this is 10.8 Oh wait, you're not giving in rubber Huh, and you're giving a lot less oil than before than I thought well, it's fine rubber we can always get I Think uh, no actually not Italy have some rubber, but I can't attack them. Well, I guess it's France then France and I can always build yes separately some rubber, but first of all just the oil Oil is going to be useful for our fleet, for our tanks, for our airplanes. So it's based. Oh, wait, actually, not the airplanes. You don't require that anymore. You've been switched out to Tungsten. Alright. Um, then we might not actually build this much. We might have overdone it a little bit with oil. Uh, let's remove one of these factories then. And then go. Oh, is this. What? I didn't look at this, but come on. Really? Plus 10? Alright, we, we don't have to build many of, many of these. 1, 2, 3, and let's grab a fourth one, then that might be too much, really. And, well, chromium, that's fine. And then we have the tungsten, you're also gonna be, well, that's also 5, but we're not gonna need that much of it right now. Let's just grab, well, 40 right there, or 20 right there, too. Actually, you are two factories, so that's even gonna be that's gonna be twenty on each place. So we can reduce everything by one right here, and well, not have it. <laughs> I was gonna say reduce these two by two, but well, for some reason I went the other way. Uh, we now have this one, but we can't continue. Actually, we can weaken. Oh yeah, definitely remove natural spirit. Well, German legacy. That would be awesome. That would really boost us. Boost us. Well boost our progress to become a fascist or nationalist depending on if you allow me to go that way I want like I'm so greedy regarding research slots it's ridiculous to be honest I'm like I see a research slot written and my brain just wraps around it like a child in a candy store like I need it I need it I need it so uh, uh, let's see what else can we pick right now uh, this oh right that one is really good to pick early Actually, it's early now. Let's pick it. 
well, more factory output, more civilian um, industry construction speed, and um, well, factory output. Let's see, the same thing right here, 15% right there. We have airplanes, a lot of cool stuff right there. We have armor specialists. Actually, everyone is specialists. Is it? Yeah, I think that is the same for actually all nations. Everyone has only specialists. And then we have all of these cool ones. Oh, right, we could have picked... We're just getting so little pretty power right now. Yeah. Oh, we should also probably also go for um, higher taxes. Actually, that might be not something we don't want to do with this campaign. We, here, it's a very, very large chance that we get invaded. From behind, taken like um, I missed something and that could really strike us hard in the back then. So, I think I actually won't go very high taxes right now. I want a high national unity. We have a lot of stuff that can be taken. M uh, München, Frankfurt, we have uh, Cologne, we have Berlin, Hamburg. And that's pretty easy to grab. And then we have a ton of small. So if our net unit would be at like 30%, that could very quickly just disappear and we would die. Ugh. So let's not do that. Uh, let's see, we are rebuilding right here. As soon as we get more, uh, well, as soon as we get, become fascist or national world tension rises, we need to pick. We need to change law as quickly as possible. We need to start producing civilian and military industry, or maybe just military. Actually, I think I will do both this time, since we won't be able to expand as much. Like I've always, my my one reason to not build civilian factory is we will take the civilian from our enemy. But right now we can't really. Uh, we leave the. Uh, let's see. Remove, remove National European Union. Germany leaves NATO. Do we want to re leave NATO right now? I think we actually... Oh, and then we can go and continue down here. Oh yeah, let's do this one. Feeder stat. And then we'll wait until next episode. Until you can, well, decide on amongst yourself if I'm allowed to go nationalist instead of fascist. I'm fine with both really, but... Research slot! Research slot! <laughs> cool. We're only missing Tungsten really now. Uh, so actually let's put two of those in the top. 36 days each, yeah, that's nothing. A month, really. Let's see, research slot available. Should we continue right there or do we have tech? Actually, let's grab that one now. Yeah, it's still a bit ahead of time, but come on, it's industry stuff. I want that. I want that as quick as possible, you know that. And right here, Ghost Division, how are you doing? Uh, you need more tanks for you to still be a Ghost Division. Well, you're not really going to be that Ghost sense. <laughs> you're going to be a massive tank division just destroying the opponent, so... Uh, let's see... Organization is horrendous right now, but that's because we don't have any tech right now. And 39, this is basically the division I want, but we can't. Actually, we can begin with this. We need more experience points. I want, yeah, like I said, two more, two more tanks right here, and then I'm basically just adding a couple more support, and then just starting to build our massive production line with. Well, I'm probably gonna switch out the anti-air gun to uh, logistics, and then add field hospitals because I'm a feeling that we're gonna lose a lot of manpower during this campaign. It's ridiculous. Oh wait, wait, I have to check that. Uh, here. Recruitable population minus 1%. God damn it. That's the same as the generic one. That's gonna hurt us. So yeah, nationalist. Think about it. Isn't that more correct? Uh, uh, if, we let, if we just check this comment again. Uh, modern day as nationalist Germany. Hint, hint, hint. Don't want to lose manpower. <laughs> Let's see. Engineering. We're gonna go... Encryption, the encryption, no, 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 let's not pick any of that. All right, we have to begin with here. Land, at, land night attack. Land night attack, yeah, that was correct. Okay, five more experience points. Almost done. And just one more and 26, yeah, that's not a lot of organization. We really need these land doctrines. More organization, more organization, more organization. This is the way, oh, actually here's also plus 15 organization for motorized and mech too. So, actually I want to see exactly, this one gives, yeah, 15. 
So in 22 days, or 20 days, we currently have 5 units of mechanized infantry. infantry. A banner of friend, European, Britain goes with Europe. Alright. Alright, we abandon... Well, we finish the focus. What? Or? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this one. And this will be uh, fascist influence increased by two. And then, yeah, more drift. We are gonna continue. Let's see. Apply to you on the EU. <laughs> right away. Like, hey guys, I made a mistake. Please let me on. Let's see, are people more mad at me? Yeah, actually they are. They want to trade less with me. We are fine, we are fine, we are fine. We are still missing some. All oh, right, because we are trading. Oh yeah, we have to switch this law right now to export focus at least. Sure, it's very nice with the factory output and construction speed bonus. And of course the research time reduction. But I kind of need my resources. Especially, well, now. When I'm going to start producing my own tanks. Sure, we're going to need more experience points to fix it completely. But... We can begin producing units right now. I want to have some kind of tank division. Uh, let's continue right here. So 26 right and now 31. So only that single focus is improving it by quite a bit. <sighs> God, I stopped breathing really. I just talk, 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 talk. <gasps> just... <laughs> let's see. This is going to work. Is that really the best idea really? To go full on tanks and just try to bring down everyone at the same at the same time. But we have to do it. Everyone is NATO around us except Austria. Well you I can at least attack and take since it said before the allies invaded. Before the allies invaded. Cool. So yeah Austria you can join us. How much do you actually have? I'm gonna let you well, be independent for quite for a while longer so you can build up take more focuses and then then I'm gonna bring you down with my first stack of tanks let's see we currently have 21% actually we probably gonna become naturalist before we become fascist if this goes to and well if it continues this way uh, let's see 81 yeah let's just don't pick anything don't pick anything just wait until we can go to export focus uh, available on plates in reserve. I know, I know, but we're not gonna pick anything right there. All oh, right, we're also gonna focus on well, Blitzkrieg tanks and a super big fighter force and nothing else. Just fighters, 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 fighters. Sure, they might have bombers, but we should have enough fighters so we should just negate everything. Cool. Now, no. Oh, actually, we can't even go down that one right yet. See, see, even the game wants us to pick that way. So economic focus. Let's now continue down. Well. The path of economics. How much of each of the actually how much resource is this? 350 tanks, 30 support, 500 mechanized, and 510 infantry. Uh, we don't have to care about the anti air because we're not gonna have it. We just need let's see, 30 more experience, or is it 35? No, 30 more experience. Uh, we no longer had a path order. Oh, that's bad. 0.9, 0 0.8. All right, so we're getting a tiny, tiny bit more fascist support right now. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave it up to you. So yeah, this becomes a build-up and... Um, nailing down the rules episode. So I'm expecting a ton of comments right now. you really arguing about... Well, influence? No, 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 no. All right, moving on. Um, and yeah, tons of arguing, this is the reason we should go this way and keep to exactly the comment or let Daniel do what he wants because the research slot is awesome and he should have it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one is gonna say be authoritarian <laughs> or nationalist, not authoritarian. <laughs> so uh, expert focus please, one, two and three. Thank you. And now we're st how many we're getting eight, so we only lost a single partner trading with us, and we have a ton more resources. Very good. We have everything for all our stuff. Very nice too. And we are producing. Well, we have three factories right here. Sure, this make makes sense to have three, three, if we had well many more, many more right here. 
Uh, let's pick two right there and let's pick one more fighter. Cool, this makes more sense for now. And now we're getting the lost of the stuff right here. All right, that went very quickly. Uh, we might, I might want to build a tiny bit more tungsten places because we're gonna need it much more than I expected. Now that fighters actually need it too. Fighters and only fighters actually, we don't need that much more than I expected. Uh, let's remove two right there. So let's finish this and then we're gonna be happy. Is there, do we need aluminum or something else? Aluminum might actually be something that's plus 15 for every, so let's add that too. 100, 100 and let's see. That 80 state, that's 45. Actually, you're double, so. Okay, let's cancel this one. Let's only produce in the 100 areas. Very good, focus. So let's see, police power, more infrastructure. Two, uh, one civilian and military factories. Here's your civilian and military that we have to pick between. I think actually I want to go this way. And just grab some more infrastructure everywhere. And that will just generally improve our entire nation. Uh, or we could go down right here for more police power. Emergency plan, military reform. Oh, revive the rural area. Actually, this one is great. At least we should begin with this one. That shouldn't be a question. It's We should pick that one. Uh, everything right here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see if this one we're already doing. Can we research a better missile cruiser? No, we cannot. Uh, let's pick this one then. Uh, um, you, you shouldn't really underestimate the naval focuses. They're awesome. It makes a huge difference between a navy with naval focuses and without. So, everything is progressing, everything is proceeding as I foreseen. Parliamentary crisis, there's nothing we can do. No, we need Supreme Court to intervene, yeah, because that's the only one that gives us stability. And I want at least one tank. I want one tank force out before, well, I end this episode. And it should be fully trained too. Just to see the glory that we're gonna create out on the field right now. Let's see, 30% or 27%, so we're getting a tiny bit more fresh support right now. So this is two civilian and one military factory. Thank you. We're getting the resources we need, very nice. Yeah, we see a bit, we are a bit more stacked right now. Use 20. Oh god, we really need to get this one down. Actually, wait here. Uh, let's see, heavy legacy, open country. No, if we close our borders completely, that's minus 5%. Consuming goods. We should definitely go that one. So 150 blue power. I think yeah, we're getting 19 right now. So even going close down, uh, close and losing well, from well zero to minus 20% month population. Fine. 5% consuming goods factory down. Superior to everything. That's actually two things I'm really that I really have nailed down in myself. Get research slots, reduce consumer goods. Okay, free civilian factories, that took a while to see, but uh, we're gonna continue. Maybe just up the infrastructure everywhere. We have this guy, road builder, which would be really nice to grab, but you're conservative 0 0.05, 0 0.01. Let's just do it like this. Let's increase every area by one. Because we had a focus that increased everything by one too. So... Or not everywhere, but some areas at least. Uh, modern heavy machinery, thank you. Uh, that's a bit too far ahead, please. Uh, I guess we can continue right here, actually. That's also far ahead. This one is not good. Available plane research. This is what I mean with we need that extra research lot. We just have so much research and so few slots to actually research the stuff with. Alright. And uh, no natural focus set. We need to grab yeah, let's grab this one and let's continue down left then. And just grab the infrastructure, then ports, well need an we need some kind of navy. And then fund Eastern industry. One military factory. And what should we put it on? 
I think modern tank is the only reasonable thing right now. Wait, one more? Wasn't it only one we got? No, it was only one we got. That's a slight lay. And here we go. One ghost division. And, well, beyond that guy. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, this is the first part. So, um, question, two questions for you, really. Fascist or nationalist. May I take stuff that kind of Italy owned right here? And, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, th hope you guys enjoy will enjoy this campaign. And, uh, well, the goal of it, restore the access power. The access power strikes back. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe and all nice stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.